Hello all you awesome people out there, my name is Takiro and welcome to this reaction video to Super Mario Bros. Wonder. Um, I know I'm a little late to the party, I actually wanted to stream it to begin with, but <laughs> it was showing when I was not at home, so that was a little problem there. Let's uh, just jump into it and see where we go. Boop. Peggy 3. So let's see what this is I'm showing. Um... It's still creepy that they actually have voice acting in the game. Welcome to the Flower Kingdom, a not so distant Thank you. land just beyond the Mushroom Kingdom. Mario <laughs> and friends were invited here by the Banana. There's a lot Prince of things Florian. since. But Bowser, okay. the king of the Koopas, had other plans. With just a single touch of the mysterious Wonder Flower. That can't be good. <laughs> Wait, what? Bowser merge with <laughs> I, Prince I have castle. That's um, <laughs> that's something. Oh, I like the music. It reminds me of um, Super Mario um, uh, Bowser Fury. Not complaining. What the hell? Well, okay. Thanks to his newfound power, chaos spread across the land. Now, <laughs> it's up to Mario and well. friends to stop Bowser and save the Flower Off Kingdom. We go. Oh? Are they all the playable characters? Questioning? Um, I'm taking this, this yes, since all of them are on the screen. Over what's new in Mario's latest 2D side-scrolling adventure, Super Mario. <laughs> Hopefully, Brothers the whole game is Wonder. new. <laughs> Let's jump in. Okay. This the is Kingdom. the Flower Kingdom. It's made up of six distinct worlds that circle the Petal Isles, making a total of seven areas to explore. Your and probably a post game area. The tubular hills of Pipe Rock Plateau. <laughs> it does Once really look like they were on something when they made this game because. You'll be aiming for new heights in Fluff Puff Peaks. Many trials await amidst the picturesque scenery and radiant cascades of Shining Falls. I do really like Traverse that. Um, multiple islands. The, the, he talks all the time. Stop that. I want to talk here. I, I do really like that they have changed out a lot of things um, in the game uh, from what you normally see and, uh, in a Mario game. Nice, actually. Move around the map in each world to select a course. You can okay, so it's not free movement. areas you find. Oh, in these spaces, never mind then. <laughs> not quite ready to take on a particular course. You can try a different one instead. Play them in any order you oh, like. Oh, so. Oh, that Once is actually kind of course, nice. You can quickly come back to it through the courses menu. It's an easy way to find the ones you want to play again. Fair. So that must be like you can While play whatever courses, level you want, you but you have to do certain stuff before. Um... Get close, yeah, that's still then. creepy. <laughs> what a pretty sunset. They'll talk Exciting. to you, livening up your adventure. I wonder what Goombas taste like. They might give you hints. Wonder if you can get I don't want to know. Or coins. You'd share your water with me? <laughs> yes. Characters. Let's see what we have. Besides Mario, you can also play as yeah. Luigi. <laughs> I like how to choose Toad and there's a Luigi. <laughs> One of two Toads and Toadette. They all play the same, so go with your favorite or mix it up. Oh, so the Yoshi's and if they play the same the thing, won't take damage. They're a great choice if you're looking for a more easygoing experience. Careful though, they'll still lose a life if they fall down a pit. So watch your step. Additionally, the Yoshis can flutter jump, eat objects, and spit them back at enemies. <laughs> that, that, that face? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Speaking <laughs> of enemies, here are some of the new ones you'll find. 
copycats will copy the player and jump when you jump. Melon piranha plants okay, spike, will spit so. seeds from their mouths. <laughs> Condarts will fly at you and stick their beaks into your business. When no, cards attack, you. they'll even plow through goo. <laughs> no, Mumsies not Luigi. can be unraveled <laughs> if you position yourself just right. Mamas will eat anything that comes too close to their gaping mouths. There are plenty more new enemies for you to discover as well. Goombas, Koopa Troopas, Boos, <laughs> Locky Twos, and other familiar foes are also here. So that's how it's pronounced, Locky Two. I always called it Lucky, something yeah, like that. Let's Lucky look at the new power-ups you can find. In elephant form, make the most of your nose and your size. <laughs> if you say so. Swing your trunk to attack enemies, destroy blocks, and even do this. <laughs> in this form, you can easily break through blocks and dash across large gaps. See? If you store water in your trunk and spray it out, who knows what might happen? That trunk sure is useful, huh? wow. It's not just Mario, though. Luigi, the Toads, Let's see Peach, Peach, Daisy, Let's see Peach. and Toadette all have <laughs> elephant forms as well. <laughs> She's pink. That's actually cute. <laughs> The bubble form allows you to blow light thing bubbles. They can be used to capture and defeat enemies from a distance. <laughs> I like how it panics before it hits. Nearby foes. You can take care of enemies surrounding you in one go. Defeat typically impervious foes and knock out oh, nice. baddies on the other side of walls. You can even jump off them like platforms. So Bubbles make it a bit That's easier to get to those handy. hard to reach places. Just like that. While in drill form, you'll get a pretty nifty drill. This makes dealing with spiky or hard-headed enemies a breeze. Or nice. you can use it to drill down. It so also I think that's a burrow and move through the ground. In a tough spot, dig away. So that you is kind of an uh, ability from. Ceiling. Oh, is the Super Mario Galaxy? I can't remember if one, one or two is from. Uh, the barrel. Yeah, the barrel. Plus, it will. The classic fire form makes a return. Oh, and you can hang on to an extra power up. In a pinch, oh, that's nice. I love that. Um, I always love that um, ability to have an extra to ability. The situation. But they don't have any, um, unless of course they show off one, this but they don't have any fly, uh, flying uh, ability in the flower kingdom. It's so far, they thrive sort of, at least. This world's mysterious power and release it when in bloom. That's oh, so that's, uh, was after. <laughs> that's the, when you touch um, a as a trip power. power. <laughs> a wonder effect will trigger, causing some interesting changes. <laughs> okay, let's call it interesting then. A stampede of enemies can appear. The terrain may tilt. You can end up in a free fall. Okay. <laughs> Bubbles might uh bubble up. Your perspective can change. Okay, that's trippy. <laughs> or you might float through space. There are even Space. wonders where your character transforms. Mario might become <laughs> a Goomba? Happens. <laughs> or a spike ball? Or blow up like a balloon? When you touch a wonder Oh, oh that's a long time since I've seen that ability. <laughs> uh, isn't that the and the pea balloon thing? I think it's called. Some courses need to be unlocked using the wonder seeds you've collected. You'll also earn a wonder seed as thanks from a poplin when you clear a course. Poplins! Okay. It's a lot of collectible stuff at least. That's gonna be fun. I guess. As your adventure progresses, you'll unlock in-game badges that change up the way you play when equipped. 
there are a variety of badges, each with its own special ability. Let's go over some of them. Slow your fall with the parachute cap badge. So Enhance your parachute. wall jumping abilities with the wall climb jump badge. Unleash a burst of speed while underwater by equipping the dolphin kick badge. You can also break underwater blocks. Nice. Charge up a bounding leap with the crouching high jump badge. Shoot vines in midair and stick to walls with the grappling vine badge. Recover from dangerous drops instantly with the safety bounce badge. Easily find important <laughs> items so using double jump. the sensor badge. Mm, nice. Draw so that's good for cleanup, I guess. Mula with the coin magnet badge. <laughs> Mula. I like the enemies, way he said that. And yourself with the invisibility badge. You will not stop dashing with the jet run badge. And you can run that sounds there for a bit. Different, um, <laughs> there dangerous. are more badges with different abilities, from the convenient to the unconventional. Only one badge can be equipped per course. Equip them that was the wondering that. or when starting a course. Or if you don't make it through, grab a different badge and try again. Some badges can be earned by clearing special badge challenge courses. Go for it! while others can be purchased from poplin shops on the world map. Be sure to exchange flower Fair coins enough. you collect in courses for badges. Fair enough. Play together. That sounds very, uh, dangerous. Up to four people can play locally on the same Nintendo Switch console. So no online play, Pick I guess. your favorite character and jump into the adventure together. If a player is defeated in local co-op, their character will float around the course as a ghost. If another <laughs> player reaches them before time runs out, they'll jump right back into action. Your group won't lose a life either. And just so you know, if someone is playing as a Yoshi, you can jump on their back and ride them around the course. Even if you're also <laughs> playing as a Yoshi, <laughs> or if you're an Oh elephant. God, what happens if four Yoshis? Oh, pure Yoshi. <laughs> That's gonna hurt the back. <laughs> oh, online play. Online, you might see other players on the world map and in courses. That seems. <laughs> These are people from around the world enjoying the game in real time, appearing as live player shadows. Just like in local co-op, if you're defeated, you can come back to life by bumping into a live player shadow. Oh, that's kind of nice need actually. And share in-game items. Even though you won't be playing together directly, you'll get to experience a subtle connection with other players online as you enjoy this new adventure together. An interesting way to do stuff, place actually. You can a standee in a course. Standees can revive ghosts, so place them in not-so-easy areas and help your fellow players. You can purchase standee surprises from the poplin shops to add more to your collection. You never know which standee you'll get. When you come into contact so, gotcha. with an online player or their standee, you'll see their username and heart points. These points show how much they've helped other players on their adventure. Reviving ghosts, gifting items, reaching the goal pole together, and more will earn you heart points. While playing online, you also have the option of creating a room to get together with friends. In a oh, so you room, can play online you can that see way. Which courses your friends are playing, enter courses together, not. and even race through certain courses. Start a race. Okay, so it's still not playing block. together. Then make a run for it. But I do think it's kind of neat nice that I have so many different uh, race, things you can do together. In some courses, you'll need to grab a wonder seed or defeat a boss instead. <laughs> Whether you're casually connecting with players from around the world or syncing up with friends for riveting races, you can enhance But it is an interesting uh, thing to play, play together like that, even though it's not um, really together, if that makes sense. Even though I don't think it's something that I would have on when I play because I think it would distract more than it would help me.
<laughs> Goodbye, blocks. Jump into the unexpected with Mario and friends Whoa. when Super Mario Brothers Wonder launches on Nintendo Switch October 20th. Plus, a I'm new gonna play Mario so many Rift games there. Nintendo Switch OLED model <laughs> console is also on the way. If you look nice. closely, you'll find Mario Even though I have an OLED already, coins. so I will not get it. Nintendo <laughs> but um, OLED it's kind nice. Mario Red Edition launches October 6th. So let's uh, review some of the things we just saw. Um, I do think that the, some of the power-ups looks pretty neat. I'm still wondering if they're gonna have any flying power-ups for that. But I will say the elephant one is really one that took me by surprise. It's also nice to see some of the older ones come back, like the drill. And also the whole core thing seems pretty neat. Um, again, if as I said before, I don't think it's something I would do when I play it on my own, uh, mostly because, again, I get really distracted by things in the background if it's not important for the game. Um, other than that, I, I do like the idea that you can play the levels in any order you want, and it seems also you can't progress before you have collected those... Um, what was they called? Seeds? Things? Yeah. It's also nice to see that they're going in a new direction for uh, the 2D Mario games. Um, in terms of abilities, what you can do when you play them now. So that's going to be an interesting one to play um, when it comes out um, in October. Because I also get Spider-Man 2 there. And I want to actually stre not stream both of them. Because I want to stream some other stuff. Uh, I want to play them both uh, for the channel now that I'm doing actual Let's Plays again. So I hope I will get around to both of them. I will try to see if I can alternate between those two going forward when that comes out. Um, and hopefully I'm done with Hyrule Warriors until then, because that's a duty long game apparently for me to complete. Even though it was a direct only about this game uh, for 15 minutes, plus minus. I would like to say they showed off a lot of uh, cool neat stuff, so I'm looking forward to it. Again, I hope you guys do too. Please tell me in the comments what you liked about this uh, presentation they showed off, um, what you're looking forward to in this game. And I hope you will look forward to me doing a let's play of it when it comes out. Um, it's going to be an interesting one. <laughs> Thank you all so much for stopping by and seeing my uh, presentation. Wait, my presentation. <laughs> for seeing my reaction video. I know it was a little delayed in comparison to maybe other people's. But um, thank you nonetheless for watching. And I will see you all in the next one. So take care everyone and goodbye.